This also you can do. You can take income from salary, house property, and all. Add everything minus this one on the net income. You are supposed to calculate. So these are the informations you have. Following is the PNL account of Mr. Sanjay for the year ending 31st March 2017. Now, if you add these two, one lakh plus one lakh seventeen, you get two lakh twenty three. So, uh, profit brought down and profit net profit will not consider. Net profit will come in the beginning itself. Hello everyone, this is your other sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And we are in the session 12 of your topic called Profit and Gain of Business and Profession. Now, so today we will discuss one problem along with that we will work on the tax liability also. What is the tax liability? Today you will understand better. Now, your agenda, in agenda we have concept as well as problem. So these are the informations you have. Following is the p account of Mr. Sanjay for the year ending 31st March 2017. Now, these are the informations we have and we are supposed to find out which are your taxable income. Now, in this, which are not related to business, we have to find out. Now, office expenses, it is a part of your business. Next, do we have any adjustment? We'll go to adjustment, then we'll come back to your problem. Office expenses include 20,000 paid for personal expenses. See, out of this 20,000 paid for personal. Next, general expenses includes 10,000 paid for Prime Minister National Earthquake Relief Fund. So this is also your personal, how much? 5,000 to trade, 10,000 for PM National Relief Fund and 5,000 to trade association. If it is trade association, that is a part of the business. So if it is a national relief fund and all, it is not part of the business. Next, allowable depreciation, you know that it is as per your income tax. 50% of motor car expense are proprietors, personal use. Half you have to consider as personal. Compute the taxable business income for the assessment year 2017 and 2018. Now, so these are the informations are available in your question. Now, office expenses in this, remember, as per adjustment, 20,000 paid for personal. So you have to take only how much? 20,000. Bad debts, part of the business. Salary to staff, part of the business. Audit fees part, proprietor's salary you are supposed to take, interest on capital, yes, income tax, yes, VAT, no, charity, yes, motor card expenses, only 50% you are supposed to take, 18,000 into 50 by 100. Now, municipal tax, yes. General expenditure, remember, in this, uh, one 10,000 paid for this. So, Prime Minister National Relief Fund. So, we have to take 10,000 in the general expenses. 10,000. Next, LIP, yes, and net profit, no. Up to this, your income. Now, in this, these are disallowed items. Then, your Profit brought down and profit, net profit will not consider. Net profit will come in the beginning itself. Then your gross profit will not come. Bad debts recovered, yes. Amount received from LIC, yes. Interest from, yes. Lottery, yes. Received from LOP, yes. So these are the let out property. LOP means your housing income let out property. These are the income. These are the informations we have. Now, directly I'll go to answer now. In this, net profit as per p and add disallowed items. If you want, you can take screenshot of question. So I'll come back to answer. Now, so we'll come back to answer. Now I'll write one by one, disallowed item. Under disallowed item, what we have? We have like, first one, office expenses, 20,000. Office expenses, 20,000. 
office expenses twenty thousand. Next, after office expenses, we have proprietor salary thirty three thousand. Proprietor salary. How much we have? Proprietor salary we have around thirty three thousand. Thirty three thousand. Next, after proprietor salary we have interest on capital twelve thousand. Interest on capital it is twelve thousand. Next, after this we have income tax eleven thousand seven fifty. Income tax. Income tax. Eleven thousand. I'll check it again. Eleven thousand seven fifty. Eleven thousand seven fifty. Then, so we have what? It is a part of the business. Remember, what are anything like? What are any sales tax are part of the business? Then charity. It is two thousand. Take charity. It is two thousand. After this, we have motor car expenses only fifty percent. Why? Because fifty percent personal, fifty percent related to business. Your motor car expenses nine thousand. Motor car expenses nine thousand. Eighteen thousand divided by two. It is nine thousand. Then. We have municipal tax. It is five thousand. That is also personal. Municipal tax. How much it is? Municipal tax is five thousand. We have five thousand municipal tax. Next, after this, general expenses out of fifty, we are supposed to take ten thousand. General expenses ten thousand. After general expenses, yes, LIP is there. How much? Fifteen thousand LIP. LIP fifteen thousand. These are the expenses which are not part of your business. Now we'll add everything twenty thousand. Plus thirty three thousand plus twelve thousand plus eleven thousand seven fifty plus two thousand plus nine thousand plus five thousand plus ten thousand plus fifteen thousand. I got one lakh seventeen thousand seven fifty. One lakh seventeen thousand seven fifty. This is what these are your disallowed item clear. So which are not related to business. Now, now we'll go for your allowable expenses. Continuation actually. Now allowable expenses are other head income. Now we have your bad debts recovered ten thousand. Amount received from LIC fifty thousand. Bad debts recovered ten thousand. Bad debts recovered ten thousand. Then LIC. How much we got LIC? The LIC we got. Yes, we got LIC maturity policy. It is fifty thousand. Interest from debt as five thousand. Fifty thousand interest. I'll go back. Interest from debtors, it is five thousand. Interest from debtors, so it is five thousand. Next, after interest, lottery income, it is one lakh. Lottery income, how much? One lakh. Received from LOP seventy two. Lottery income. Lottery income. It is one lakh. Then L O P let out property income from house property. So how much? 
received from LOP, let out property, it is 72,000. 72,000. So these are the income or other head incomes we call it as. So we we'll add everything 10,000 plus 50,000 plus 5,000 plus 1 lakh plus 72,000. So I got 2 lakh 37,000. 2 lakh 37 thousand now i'll go back to your previous one it is 11 lakh it is 1 lakh 17,750 i'll cross check once 20,000 plus 33,000 plus yes so we have not taken net profit what is your net profit the net profit is 1 lakh 6,000 now you have to start with net profit 1 lakh 6,000 Plus 117,750 minus 237. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now I'll cross check once. So 20,000 plus 33, 53,000, almost 65, 76, 78, and 89 and 99. Yes, almost 1 lakh, 1 lakh 17. Yes, we got 1 lakh 17,750 and your, these are the income, bad debts, LIC, interest from debenture, uh, lottery income, LOP, along with that we have one more in the adjustment, allowable depreciation, 10,000, we have not taken, we have to take, allowable depreciation, 10,000, depreciation, so allowable depreciation, it is 10,000, now add everything. So it will be 10,000 plus 50,000 plus 5,000 plus 1 lakh plus 72,000 plus 10,000. 10,000 plus 50,000 plus 5,000 plus 1 lakh plus 72,000 plus 10,000. I got how much? 2 lakh 47. You will get business income or business loss. In this, you will get business loss actually. Your net profit, your gross profit is, your profit is 1,6,000. 1,6,000 minus all your expenditure. Now, we'll add this 1,6,000 plus double one seven seven fifty. I got 2,23,750 minus 2,47,000. I got 23,250. 23,250. This is nothing but your business income. Hope you are clear. What is this? Your business income. Hope you are clear. So your business income, it is not income actually. It is loss. It is loss. Why? Because... If you add these two, 1 lakh plus 1 lakh 17, you get 2 lakh 23. From 2 lakh 23, if you minus 2 lakh 47, you will get minus 23,250. This is not income actually, business loss. Clear? Your business loss is how much? 2 lakh 23,250 is your business loss. Now, so will not do total income for this will do total income when there is a profit it is not that you cannot do you can do you have to show it as a loss but we will do your total income with tax liability for which problem we have profit this also you can do you can take income from salary house property and all add everything minus this one on the net income you are supposed to calculate your tax liability. Now, in the next session, I'll come up with complete problem with the tax liability so that it will be easy for you to understand. I'll go back to all these slides. Please take screenshot. So this is your question part, your adjustment, and these are your answer. The second part of your answer and final answer. 
So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. So this is all about your business income. Next session, we'll do one problem with business income with all adjustment with tax liability also and we'll wind up this chapter.